The downy woodpecker is a study in blacks and stark whites, but an experienced birder in New Jersey sends a cell phone shot from her kitchen window. She has no doubt it's a downy, but with an eerie cinnamon glow across its front. Some sort of hybrid, she wonders? Gender markings of red-bellied woodpeckers are clear enough. The male's red cape reaches from nape to nostrils, an unbroken helmet of crimson. On the female, that mark ends at her crown, leaving a clear gray forehead. Together, tending their nest, they invite comparison of their distinctive head markings. But, just out in my kitchen window, what's this? A red-bellied non-binary? This bird visits daily, but I still don't know whether to call it Mr. or Ms., or, in present parlance, they. Here's an American robin, marked probably as no other, some sort of gene coding error freckling the bird with white. But we know this is a robin because of its behavior, the habit of pausing between foraging gestures, the motionless moment we have come to understand to mean robin. These birds make two points. Like humans, every bird is an individual, and no two are exactly alike. We learn to make allowance for individual distinction, expect it, appreciate uniqueness when we see it, as we do with one another. And, because markings are variable, they should not be our only means of identification. Shape is also distinctive, and behavior even more so. That's why the Featherflix Bird Identification app is illustrated with video, so we can learn distinctive behavior, including the bird's voice. Our job? Expect variable markings. Learn behavioral birding.